Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to share with you that how SumX works in DAX. Now, imagine that you have a table named data, which has four columns, column one, two, three, and four. And for some reason, I would like to do a multiplication of column two and column three for every single row of this table and then add all the rows. So this is something that I would want to do. I would do a multiplication of column two and column three in every single row and then do a summation of all these uh, results. That's a classic example of SumX. Now to do this, I would need two things. I would need a table and I would need the expression that would run in every single row of the table. Expression simply means a calculation. So syntactically, this is how I would write SumX. I would write the name of the table first. That's the first part of uh, SumX. And then I would write the expression that in every single row of the table that I just mentioned, what calculation would I like to do? So I'm writing the name of the table, which is data. And in every single row of the table name data, do this calculation, which is column two, multiply by column three. That's all about it. That's how you do SumX. Now, there are a few things to note about SumX. Thing number one. The table that you mention inside SumX can be virtual or can be physical. By virtual table, what I mean to say is that you can create a table on the fly. By using a DAX formula, you can create a table, but the table doesn't physically exist in the data model. Take a look at this example. I am writing SumX. The first part is the name of the table. And instead of writing a table, I'm writing a function, which is a filter function. Now, the filter function will give me a table. Which table? The table which is filtered where column one is greater than or equal to 1000. It will give me a table. Now then I'm saying that go in every single row of the filter table and then multiply column two with column three. So this is not a table that exists in the data model. It's a, it's a table which is a virtual table that I have created on the fly. Point number two, the expression that you write inside SumX has to return a number. That means the multiplication of the two things should be a number. If column two is a text and you're trying to multiply a text with a number, this will give you an error and SumX would not be able to take a sum of uh, these expressions. All right, that's the nitty gritties of the SumX. Let's just jump over to Power BI and write the SumX function and see how that works practically. All right, here I am. Um, you can see that I have a table named data and this table has a few columns. The first column here is the transaction ID. We have the date, we have the region, the product ID, the number of units sold, the channel of the sales, and the price of each and every unit. Now, one single row means one single transaction, and I have to find the total sales here, which is nothing but the multiplication of units and the price. Now, let's just do that using sum x. I've already created a blank measure here, which is total sales, and let's just write the sum x function there. So I'm gonna write equals to sum x. Now you can see that the SumX function is asking me for a table expression. That means that I have to tell SumX that go in every single row of the table, which is called data. Now in every single row of the table name data, I wanna do an expression. I wanna do a calculation. What calculation is that? I wanna take the units and multiply the units with the price. As simple as that, close the bracket, press enter. And let's just see if we get total sales or not. And we do get total sales. We get affiliate, organic, promotional, and that's the total sales of overall data. Now let's just take a look at uh, how SumX is gonna work if we do not write the table name data and if we write the filter function here. That means we create a table on the fly. So I'm gonna write filter. Now filter again has two parts, the name of the table. So I'm gonna say data and I'm gonna say uh, the units are equal to five. That means wherever I have sold five units, only give me that table. And in every single row of this table, do a multiplication of units into price. Press enter and the sales will reduce drastically because right now the multiplication is only happening for the table where the units are equal to five. So like I said, SumX function can accept a physical table. The table here exists. It has all the units here. Everything is there. This table doesn't exist. It's made on the fly. It's a virtual table. Now let's just make a mistake here out of purpose. So I'm gonna say, do a multiplication of let's say region and price. Now region is a text and price is a number. And you can't multiply these two. When I confirm the formula, this is going to give me an error. You see that? All right, let's just come back to the original formula and this is all good. Now, this is how you do SumX. Remember, SumX has two parts, the name of the table and the expression and the expression happens for every single row of the table that you mentioned. Thanks so much for watching this. And if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Take care, bye-bye.